Hey y'all, welcome back to my home, or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kellyanne, and today I have my 2023 Fall Decorate With Me Marathon. This is just a compilation of all four of my Fall Decorate With Me videos, so I hope you enjoy. To get started, we're just going to be switching out the pillows. So this couch came with probably 10 pillows, way too many pillows for the couch, so I put some in a closet. And you'll see me desperately trying to karate chop these pillows to give them some shape, but it didn't quite work too well. But nevertheless, I still think these pillows I'm putting out are cute. I got the inserts and the covers off of Amazon. If y'all see anything in this video that y'all want the links for, just comment below and I will get those for you. So I had so much fun filming this video. I think everything looks so cozy now and I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. got this floral arrangement from Michaels. I believe it was $11.99 on sale. When I saw it online, I knew I had to get it. So I went the very next day and got the last one in stock at my store. And then I picked up these wood beads from Hobby Lobby. I believe they were $5.99. And the great thing about those is that you can use them to decorate year round. Y'all just saw my cat Sprinkles. I thought she really embraced the cozy vibe of this room. If y'all are new to my channel, I do have two cats, Sprinkles the Calico that you saw there, and then I also have Lucy, and Lucy is a Selkirk Rex, and she is orange. She has a curly coat, but I do keep her shaved just to cut down on the hair. And now I'm decorating this end table. I just wanted to keep it simple, didn't want too much stuff on it because I do have a son who's almost 18 months old now and he gets into everything. Now we're moving on to the TV stand. I am just going to use some of the Method Daily Wood Cleaner to wipe it off before I put any garland on it. I love this wood cleaner. It smells so good. It has a sweet almond scent. And then to clean the glass on our TV console, I'm just going to use some spray away. So I picked up this garland from Walmart. It was only $2.98 a strand. I thought that was a super good deal. It did take three strands to decorate this one area. I loved the little berries that were attached to this garland. Drew did get a hold of one of the strands and ripped off the berries. So I did have to go back to Walmart and buy another strand to replace it. Thank you. 
I picked these pumpkins up from the Dollar Tree, so they were only $1.25 each. They looked really nice, and I thought they looked nice quality. And then I'm also going to put some tea lights in the garland, and I got the tea lights a long time ago. They were actually supposed to be for my son's birth, but I never used them, so I was able to finally use them for this, and I thought they looked great. Now we're going to decorate the banister. I did wipe off the railing with the Method Daily Wood Cleaner and now I'm just going to use two strands of this garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was $11.99 and then maybe 40% off of that. Don't quote me on that. But I thought this looked really nice here. Now we're going to decorate the front entry table. So once again, I'm wiping it down with the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. And I did decorate this and you will see how I decorated it and I'm really not happy with the way it turned out. So I am going to end up redecorating it. I just have to get some more stuff. What I want to do, I think, is get one of those foam pumpkins, cut off the top, and then do a floral arrangement in it. I've been seeing that float around um, Instagram, so Instagram, so I think I'm going to give that a shot. I got that welcome sign from at home and then that little table, the little mini stand thing and that mini wreath looking thing, those both came from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, this turned out differently than I thought it would. <laughs> I don't really like it that much. But I also did some DIY projects for fall decor and one of those things is this orange garland. It's just dried orange slices with some little wooden beads I got off the Amazon. All you do is you preheat your oven to 175 degrees, cut your oranges thinly, and then bake them for four hours, flipping every 45 minutes. But I actually made the garland too short, so I was pretty disappointed, so next year I will have to make longer garland for this area.
now we're just going to put a couple things in this powder room. I got this towel in a three pack from Ross. And then I'm also going to put a little floral arrangement that I picked up from Michael's. I'm going to put that on the sink. I took these clips at night so y'all could see just how cozy it looks in here but I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope you will stick around and subscribe so y'all can see part two. I hope you have a great day! So to get started, we are going to hang up this dried orange wreath. I did make this myself, so I'm going to include the instructions in the description box below in case you would like to make one as well. Now we're going to move along to the kitchen counters. I'm just going to wipe them off and I did go ahead and clear off any summer decor that I had on the counter so we would have a clean slate. The first thing that we're going to decorate with is this cute little pumpkin I made with my son. He is 18 months old. All I did was get a Dollar Tree wood pumpkin. I painted it white and then I let him go to town putting handprints on it. I think it turned out super cute. So now I'm just adding a hello fall sign and then this cute little pumpkin dish that I'm going to use as a spoon rest. For the other side of the stove, I'm just going to display yet another handprint craft that I made with my son. You can tell that I love doing handprint crafts and I figured that the kitchen would be the best place to display them so everyone can see and enjoy them. I got that gold pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and I got the little wooden tray as well as the berry garland. Those both came from Hobby Lobby. Now I did have those displayed on the front entryway table, but I like them a lot better here. I think they belong over here in the kitchen. I like to use Sprayway to clean my glass as well as polish my stainless steel appliances. So I'm just going to wipe off our dishwasher before I place a new tea towel on it. I got a three pack of tea towels from Marshalls. I believe it was $9.99. I think that's a pretty good deal for three tea towels that fit the fall decor. And then I got this kitchen mat from at home. It was $12.99. And I thought this went really, really well with our wood floors. Now I'm just going to wipe off this countertop so we can get to decorating this area.
when I saw this happy harvest print at Hobby Lobby. I thought it would look good in this area. I do think I could have gotten away with an even bigger print. I'll maybe get one for next year. But I got these little mini pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and the orange pumpkins came from Walmart. And I also got this mold cider candle from Walmart and it smells absolutely amazing. I've had it burning since I got it. So definitely pick up one of those the next time you're at Walmart. So once again, these decorations are also from the Dollar Tree. I've been so impressed with the Dollar Tree by my house. I also got this little gold tray from there and I thought it would look great under this flower arrangement, but I love the look of the gold with those bright orange flowers. I think it looks so good. I got this table runner off of Amazon, so obviously I could not see it before I purchased it. I thought it was going to look great with this centerpiece, but I'm not quite liking it. This centerpiece was my splurge item for this season. It came from William Sonoma, and I figured that I could use it year after year. I think I'm definitely going to get like a dark hunter green runner to go underneath it. And I think that will also look really great and tide us over for Thanksgiving. So this white chicken chili is absolutely amazing. It is a crock pot recipe, so just throw it in and go, throw it in, go run errands, do whatever, clean your house, do whatever needs to be done, and then bam, you have dinner ready. But it's such an easy recipe. I'm going to link it in the comments. I found this recipe off of Pinterest, but I will definitely be making this again.
while that chili is in the crock pot, we're just going to make this cute pumpkin floral arrangement. I got a $3 pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. This one is all foam. You can also use one of the foam carvable pumpkins, but I like having the pumpkin be all foam because I think the floral sticks stick in there better. So I just got five of the little floral picks and now I'm just going to stick them and arrange them in here, but I'm making sure that I fluff the flowers before I do so. So now that the chicken has cooked through, this is a few hours later, I'm going to shred it and to do this I'm just going to put it in a bowl and then take a hand mixer to it. You can also do this by hand but I find that doing it with a mixer is a lot less time consuming but it is pretty messy. And now I'm just going to put that chicken back in the crock pot and on the website for this recipe it mentioned that in order to get the cream cheese that's in this recipe blended really well to get a few ladlefuls of the broth and then mix that cream cheese in with it and that's what I did. After I put that cream cheese mixture back in there, I let it sit for about 15 minutes and now I'm going to serve me up a bowl and I topped it with sour cream and mm -mm -mm, it was so good. You absolutely have got to try this, but that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will subscribe so you can see my fall decorate with me part three. Have a great day. fall decorating series. So today we will be decorating the primary bedroom and I also discovered the best copycat Starbucks pumpkin spice latte recipe that I will be sharing at the end of this video. To get started I'm just going to spray my husband's dresser with the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. This stuff smells so good. It has a sweet almond scent. So I'm just getting all the dust off of it before we get to decorating. Got a lot of my decorations from the Dollar Tree, including this little stand that you see here. It came in a box. It was in their $5 section. And all I had to do was assemble it and it was super easy. I think I got that cuddle weather sign from Hobby Lobby. The theme that I was going for in this room was definitely cozy. I wanna watch some fall movies up here. So let me know what your favorite fall movie is. So far this year, I've watched Cider House Rules and You've Got Mail. Both were great movies, so check those out. Cider House Rules is a little bit sad, but now I'm just decorating with these little pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. There's like four in a bag for $1, maybe it's five, and then these flower picks I also got from there. 
Those white pumpkins came in a bag from Hobby Lobby, though. I'm just using some spray way to wipe down these mirrors. I'm going to hang some hooks on them so I can put up a cute little wreath. I don't know if spraying the spray way and cleaning the mirror and getting all nice and shiny before I put these hooks up made them not stay or what, but unfortunately these things would not stay up there. I'm going to try again with different hooks. Maybe it's just not able to stick to it because the spray way works so well. I don't know, but I got those little mini wreaths from Hobby Lobby and I thought they would go really well with what I'm going to hang on our bed. If you saw my fall decorate with me part one, you will know that I hung dried orange garland around our entryway mirror and I made that garland too short. Well, I did it once again and I made this garland too short, so I learned my lesson. Now I am definitely going to measure before I make this garland. When I had it laid out on my kitchen table, I was like, oh yeah, that'll definitely be long enough. I had envisioned it sort of draping down the sides of the bed as well. But next year, I think I will hang this strand on that entryway mirror and I will make a new strand for our bed because I do love the look of it. I think it goes great with this color wood, the color that our bed is. But now I'm just making our bed so I can add a nice throw, blank throw blanket to it that goes with the decor very well. <music> This throw blanket from Hobby Lobby, it was only like $5 because I got it in their clearance section. I think it was regularly over $20, but I am obsessed with that like deep olive color. That is one of my favorite colors. It's actually one of my favorite colors to wear. I think it complements my skin tone really well. So maybe that's why I'm drawn to it as a decorative color too. As you see, I'm adding green to my side table but I just wiped it down and dusted it before I started adding this decor. So you will see that I am also adding a green candle. So green is the theme, but I did decide to mix it up a little bit and add a orange pumpkin. So these pumpkins also came from the Dollar Tree, but I did make that um, floral pumpkin arrangement myself and then the green pumpkin came from Walmart but I'm just gonna light this candle. This candle smells so good. I got it from Michael's. So 
So I just got done wiping off my husband's side table with the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. Now I'm just going to add some, pump some pumpkins. I didn't want to go too all out. I didn't want to make it like too feminine on his side. When he saw it, he's like, oh, it's too much. I was like, that means it's just enough. So I got this candle from Bath and Body Works, I don't know, six, maybe seven years ago, I guess it was seven years ago, because I moved these candles up with me from Charleston and I just found them in a box. So I was happy and this candle smells very masculine. this garland off of Amazon. I got it back early July, so it was like 10 bucks for two strands. I didn't think that was too bad. Might be more expensive now just because I do know they raise the prices whenever the season hits, so buy your decor before the season hits and it will be cheaper. But I love the look of this lit garland under our TV. My goal was to have it be cozy for when we watch movies in here. And you will see that I also added some pumpkin garland and I got this from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was so cute. It was only $3. I didn't know where I was going to use it, but I figured I could save it for next year if I don't use it this year. But I thought this was so cute. I might even go buy another strand because next year I want to use this more all over the house. This is what those lights look like at night. I'm obsessed. It looks so cozy. Now we're going to head down to the kitchen so I can show you all this pumpkin spice latte recipe. We're going to need a half a cup of milk. We're going to put it in a microwave safe bowl. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then a teaspoon of sugar. This is the only sugar that the recipe calls for except for whatever is in your creamer. You can use sugar-free creamer, whatever you want. Then a fourth a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of pumpkin puree. This is not the pumpkin pie filling. It's just plain pumpkin. And then we're going to whisk that together really nicely so it's smooth. And then we are going to put it in our microwave. You can microwave it to however hot you want between one minute and two minutes. I microwave mine for a minute and a half and it was plenty hot enough. While that's in the microwave, we are going to fix our cup of coffee. I like to use Javi. It is a coffee concentrate. Tastes just like regular coffee. So easy to make. I have a 20% off discount code for y'all, or you can use the link. I will put those in the description, but this stuff tastes amazing. Now we're going to add our heated pumpkin mixture to our cup, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of whatever creamer you like. I like the Dunkin' Extra Extra. Then we're going to give that a good mix. I'm telling you all this stuff is so good. And then we're going to top it with some whipped cream. And then we're going to sprinkle some nutmeg on top. You have got to try this recipe. It is so, so good. And I got this recipe off of Pinterest. I will give credit to the person who came up with this recipe down in the description.
and today we are going to be decorating my little porch for fall and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got before we get started. So we picked up these pillows for our little sofa that we have outside and then I got these little scarecrow picks to put in our mom planters. I thought this would be so cute. Then this little scarecrow is from last year. He's looking a little bit rough. Then I got this yard stake. Then we got a new flag. Then this hello fall sign. And then this wreath, this blessed and thankful sign, and then this welcome sign. And then I also have a couple other things that aren't on this table. I'm just gonna pick up this mat and put it in the garage. And then I'm gonna sweep off our porch. Our porch is small, so it's not gonna take too long to decorate it. And then I'm also going to sweep off our door because there was a lot of dust on it. So I got these pillows from Walmart. They are meant for indoors, but the fabric seemed like it would do okay outside. So we'll see if we will be able to save these for next year at the end of this season. But I think they are so cute and the perfect size for this sofa. You can tell that this day was a very dreary day. So we're definitely getting those fall vibes. But now we are going to go on our back porch area and we are going to plant one of these mums. And there were so many roly-polies in this mum, so you'll see me freak out and all those little things moving are roly-polies. We definitely need to do something about the roly-poly situation here. We have so many of them, but I'm just going to plant this mum and then I'm going to put some cute little scarecrow, scarecrow picks into the plant. picked up this scarecrow from at home last year. I'm sure they have something very similar, similar if you want to get one as well, but this is probably his last year because he's sort of fallen apart a little bit. But now I'm just going to add this hello fall sign that I got from Walmart. And then I got this blessed and thankful sign from the Dollar Tree. I think it was $3, but hopefully they won't get knocked down out here. We'll see how well they stand up to the wind because it can get windy. And then I got this little pumpkin steak from the Dollar Tree as well. And then the flag, we got it from Lowe's. But I just love the way that this area looks now. I think it looks so welcoming and I am very pleased. Beyond gravel, beyond Now we're going to make a two ingredient muffin recipe. All you need is a box of spice cake mix. I'm using the Great Value brand 
and then a can of the pumpkin puree not pie filling just plain pumpkin and I'm also using the great value brand all you do is mix the two together and I did add a tablespoon of water just to make the consistency just a little bit less thick but we are going to mix these together really well and then we're going to put them in a lined cupcake pan I did decide to make a simple icing for the top of the muffins just to add a little bit more sweetness. So all you'll need is a half cup of powdered sugar and then like a little dash of cinnamon, however cinnamony you want it, and then two tablespoons of milk and then two tablespoons of melted butter and then just whisk it together really well. I'm just going to use a brush to brush this icing onto the muffins and I was so surprised at how good and moist these things were. They did not last more than a day. I had a friend over and we ate some of them and then I sent some home with her as well. But that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got plenty of fall inspiration. Definitely try the Javi coffee as well as this easy muffin recipe and I hope you have a fantastic day.